Dear students, welcome to Naresh IT. In the last video, we just had a discussion which is related to data analysis, one type of question, where five questions are covered by taking one pie graph. Today, I just want to discuss one more caselet which is given and uh, that is nothing but a bar graph and three linked questions are given. Just have a glance how to proceed for the question. So, in the last video also, I just given some instructions to solve the data interpretation questions. What is the instructions is follow these three instructions whenever you are solving data interpretation question. Just read the label that is the first step, check the units that is the second step, connect your question to the data, do not waste your time in reading or analyzing your graph. So, let me project the question which is projected in the previous paper. So, the scores obtained in physics and chemistry subjects of a school in different sections P, Q, R, S, T is given in the bar graph. So, physics 130. Chemistry 80 for the section P. Similarly, for section Q, physics is going to be 120, chemistry is 110, like that they given the graph. So, maximum score is given as 140, maximum score is given as 140. PH is indicating physics, CH is indicating chemistry. Let me look at the question number 1. Marks obtained by S in the chemistry is what percentage of the total marks obtained by all the students in the chemistry? So, First, let me have a glance on the graph. Marks obtained by S in the chemistry is what percentage of the total marks obtained? So, please observe what is the score of S in chemistry. So, that is going to be 120. Marks obtained by S in chemistry is what percentage? I do not know that percentage is X percentage of total marks obtained by all the students in chemistry. So, chemistry in the first student is 80. And this is 110, that means 190, 190 plus uh, 110, that is giving a result as 300, 300 plus 120, that is nothing but 420, 420 plus 80. So, total marks obtained by all the sections in chemistry is 480, they are asking what is x value. So, x percentage should be equal to 120 divided by 480. So, what is 120 by 480? We can comfortably say that 120 by 480 is nothing but 1 by 4. What is 1 by 4? 1 by 4 is nothing but 25 percentage. So, we can say our answer choice is marks obtained by S when it compares to the total marks is going to be 25 percentage. Mark your answer choice as going to be 25 percentage. Let us look at the question number 2. If the total marks obtained by T in physics was increased by 14 percentage, what is the score obtained by T in physics? Just have a glance. So, by looking at this graph, T in physics. So, T is nothing but this. What is in physics? This is 50. He said that the marks obtained by T is increased by 14 percentage. What is 14 percentage of this number? That is going to be 7. So, instead of 50, if the marks obtained by this is increased by 14 percentage, then the marks will be 57. The question here is, if the total marks obtained by T in physics, when the maximum marks in the physics is 140. That means, instead of 50, if you get 57 out of 140, what is the new percentage is a question. So, 57 is not going in 14 table. So, that is the reason I am trying to take this as 56 divided by 140. 14 ones are 14 fours are. That means, it is going to be 4 by 10. What is 4 by 10? 40 percentage. That means, answer should be approximately 40 percentage. But by having a glance, we have 38 percentage, 41 percentage, 43 and 45. So, let me understand this point. What is 3 by 4 value? Tell me what is 3 by 4? It is going to be 3 by 4 and 4 by 4. These are the two numbers I am having. Which is greater? Is 3 by 4 is greater or 4 by 4 is greater? 4 by 4 is greater. That is very clear. 3 by 4 is 75 percentage. 4 by 4 is going to be 100 percentage. And uh, what is the thing I am trying to observe is when the denominator is same, when the numerator is increasing, then the value will increase. 56 by 140 is giving 40 percentage and 57 by 140 will definitely give more than 40 percentage. What is the answer which is close to 40 and more than 40? That is option 2, mark it as the answer choice. Look at the next question on the screen. What is the ratio between the marks obtained by Q and S together in chemistry to the total marks obtained by P and R together in physics? Q and S, where is Q and where is S? Q is this person, S is this person. Q and S together in chemistry. So, chemistry is 110, chemistry is 120. 
So, what is the total marks obtained? That is going to be 230. 230. Let me have a glance on the other thing. So, chemistry in the total marks scored by P and Q together in physics. P and R together in physics. P is here, R is here. What is the physics score? 130. What is the physics score? 80. So, what is total marks obtained in physics? That is going to be 210. So, they are expecting you to find out what is the ratio of the total marks obtained. So, ratio is going to be 23 is to 21, 23 is to 21, which is option matching with 23 is to 21, option 3, mark it as answer choice. So, those are the questions which are given from the data analysis. Two more questions which are given under the sets from the data analysis. So, meanwhile, I will give some practice questions. You can do that practice questions. Have a glance on the question which is given. So, this is one practice question 2008 to 2018. 2008 to 2018, the percentage increase in the sales tax is given. Percentage increase in the sales tax is given. So, 2008 to 2018, question number 1, question number 2, question number 3, question number 4, question number 5. So, there are 5 linked questions given to the same data. So, just have a glance on the question and try to answer the questions which are given. Question number 1. So, let me number it. So, again look at the graph, graph is going to be this, so a bar graph is given, so where percentage of sales tax increase from 2008 to 2018 is given, based on this, this is a question number 1, percentage increase in the sales tax from year 2008 to 18, question number 2. By what percentage the sales tax is decreased from 2011 to 2012? Question number 3. What percentage of the growth of the sales tax during 2010 to 2018? Question number 4. Sales tax rates were stable and lowest during the period. And question number 5. Percentage increase in the sales tax from 2016 to 2017. So, those are the questions. So, solve the questions and mention the comments below. So, if anything is required, we'll have a discussion on the doubts. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe the channel Naresh IT. Like, share and subscribe.